Guys, how you doing? My name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue, and let's close out 2020 in style. Oh, yeah. Look, I got a uh, special show for you. I'm going to do a uh, kind of like a uh, char siu with a uh, uh, roast pork char siu type of twist. I got the uh, meat marinated, as you can see here. We did that for about six to eight hours. I'm gonna cook in the master built about 400 to 500 Fahrenheit, we'll see. I'll take it up to that 140 Fahrenheit range. I'm gonna finish it off on the wok, on an open fire. It's gonna be epic. This is one you're not gonna to wanna to miss. everybody my name is Tommy and this is the gallery back here at barbecue and we are closing 2020 out in style up on the screen there you see I have a half butt roast and anytime it's uh, tied up like that, you know that it's a uh, cut up. That's why they uh, tie it up. It's not gonna be one lump roast. It's gonna be all kinds of uh, chopped up, no big deal, because we are gonna strip it out anyway. There you go. So look, what you wanna do here is anytime you're making a, a roast pork and you get that roast pork from your local Chinese takeout, you notice there's not that much fat, right? So uh, a pork butt, pork shoulder, both will work as good. You just gotta get that fat off. So we're just gonna cut along that fat line there and just uh, trim it away, right? I'm gonna spend a little time on this just so you get the uh, drift of it because this is a, uh, this is very important to the process, of course. And that's the uh, Connie, the uh, fat cap right there. That's gonna do us no good for this cook. And again, what you're looking to do here, you know you've gotten that uh, roast pork at the Chinese restaurant. You're either going to get it cubed or you're going to get it kind of like a uh, flame and young, right? Kind of like long and narrow. So that's what we're looking to do here. And you just want to work that fat just kind of like your... Uh, uh, cleaning anything like a brisket or whatever you want to get in there and just kind of get the fat out of there This is not real expensive meat so you can just kind of go to town <laughs> And again, we are stripping it almost like a uh, filet mignon kind of like a narrow round long as we can get it and it's all good So I wanted to spend a, a couple minutes on that, like I said, because I feel it's important to the, uh, you know, it's important to the recipe. So I wanted you guys to get a, uh, to get a good look at it. Now we are going to move long on to the marination, right? We're going to marinate this for a good, you know, you can do an overnighter, but we're going to go about seven, eight hours. And I'm going to cover the uh, dry ingredients first and then we're going to get into the wet ingredients and all this will be down below. So basically we got here is a uh, couple uh, cloves or a couple of cubes or a couple of uh, garlic, whatever. We got some uh, green onion, right? You just want to uh, cut this up and release those oils get those in the uh, marination we're going to do a little onion powder 
little ground ginger, some slices of whole ginger, some Chinese, five spice, a couple dashes of brown sugar, and also a couple slices of whole ginger. Now look, the measurements aren't exact. If you're gonna make a little less pork, you're gonna go with a little less on the measurements. The important part is to get all the measurements in there so you get that classic Chinese flavor. Alrighty, look from there, what you want to do here is we're going to go right into the wet ingredients. And you see that on the uh, screen and it'll also be down below. Basically, you're going to use some Hussein sauce. Is that correct? We're just going to get some uh, rice wine vinegar, some low sodium soy a little bit of honey, and a couple dashes of sesame seed oil. Oh, yeah. And again, adjust your measurements uh, to the amount of meat that you are gonna uh, marinate. You know, this is going to be a, a fun cook. Basically, we're going to start it out on the uh, master built. You could use the uh, pellet grill. You could use a Weber. Heck, you could even use the oven. Whatever you have, you could use. And we're going to finish it off in a uh, walk over the open flame. It's going to be epic. It's going to be fun. And we're going to hit it with a little, a uh, couple dashes of red food coloring. That gives it that classic Chinese look. Alrighty, look from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this in the fridge, like I said, seven, eight hours to overnight, and then we'll uh, pick it up. Oh yeah. All right, so we have our meat was marinating. What was that for about six to eight hours? Man, wow. Very fragrant, man, with that five spice and all the uh, spices that I put in there. As soon as you open up the bag, you just get a, uh, you know, with that fresh ginger, garlic. Of course, you've got that classic, that classic red color from that uh, red food dye I put in there. Oh. So I'm just going to pat the meat down a little bit, just kind of get some of that moisture off of the meat. Some pieces that are a little bit bigger, and you got some pieces like this one that's a little smaller. So we're going to move the, uh, things around, probably take some meat off ahead of schedule while we leave uh, some other pieces up to get that up to the proper temperature, of course. All right, so we got our master built purring along about 500 Fahrenheit. And what you want to do here is you know your hot spots in your grill. Again, whether it's master built or a pellet or whatever, you got hot spots. You take those uh, bigger pieces of meat and put them on the hot spot. The uh, smaller pieces go away from the hot spot, of course. You want to try to even out the cooking, although we know we're going to be pulling off those uh, smaller pieces sooner. We are looking to get some good char on this uh, meat and with that uh, marination and the uh, master build doing what the master build does. I'm sure we will look. Anybody want a gallery backyard barbecue sticker? Just give me an email at that gallery bbq at gmail.com and I will send you a, a couple USA only. Now we are about 15, 20 minutes in, and you see we're getting uh, some nice grill marks. Oh, yeah. And you got that classic red color. Oh, man, that is flavor. Oh, yeah. All 
Now we know those are little pieces are just about done, if not done. So we're gonna pull those off. looking for a 140 plus and you see we're in the 150 160 so we'll get those bad boys off and look if you don't have one of these ink birds i got a link down below pick yourself up one from amazon.com they are uh, rechargeable and uh, money flavor right there. And you see we are now purring up along into that 550 range just to get that good char. I'm going to get the other meat back on just to bring it up the temp, get a little heat on it. I'm gonna get everything off, get it on the board, give it a rest, and then we're gonna hit the uh, walk. Alrighty, look, that is it. About an hour, hour and 20 minutes on the uh, meat. Um, some of it cooked sooner, so we pulled that off ahead of time, as you saw. I averaged it up probably 140 to 160 Fahrenheit, depending on, uh, on the cut. As you could see, we got a, a nice char. That is off flavor. You could still smell the uh, marinade, which is, you know, which is pretty awesome. I'm going to let this sit for a... Uh, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes or so. We have our white rice all ready to go. I got some carrots and also some, uh, some white cabbage. And I got my two eggs here. I got the wok on the open pit fire. And the plan here is to bring that up to about 500 or so. Get my eggs on, get those fried up, pull those off, get the vegetables on. Then I'm gonna hit it with some rice, hit it with the meat, get the eggs back in, little sauce, and man, we should be eating pretty, pretty good. So give me a couple minutes, let this sit, and then we'll uh, slice it up together. All right, so look, what I wanna do here is just kinda of get, I'm not gonna uh, use all this meat. I mean, there's just too much here. I'm gonna pick a couple choice pieces, of course, and uh, slice into it and see what we got. Alrighty, let's cut it up and see where we are. Oh yeah. It's tasting pretty good with that marinade. I mean, you can't beat it. You know, it just it tastes just like Chinese uh, roast pork that you would get at the uh, at the takeout. The only difference is I didn't sauce any of it up. If I started to glaze it out, it would look exactly like it.
You know, as you can see, this is where we, uh, why we clean the meat so good. You don't want that, uh, all that fat content in the meat, but you do want that nice char on there, and we definitely got that. All right, I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take it over to the wok and uh, get things going over there. I think this is enough for us. I don't wanna waste the meat. I can definitely do something else with that. So let's uh, head over to the wok. To the wok, to the wok, to the wok, wok, wok. All right, I figured we'd start it with a little uh, sizzle. We are about 500 Fahrenheit on that oil. And I know these eggs are only gonna take about 30 to 40 seconds. Then we'll get those off. Look, the, uh, the trick to cooking under open fire like this in a wok is a oil, right? You always gotta have a decent amount of oil in the wok to get everything going, to keep everything going. That's your uh, wok trick. I'll leave a, a link for this uh, walk down below in the uh, description. If you don't have one, it'll last you forever and you can do so much with it. All right, look from there, what you wanna do is get that oil down, give it about a 10, 20 seconds. It'll get up to temp real quick. And we are gonna hit it with the uh, white cabbage and the carrots. Now look, you got the uh, carrots and the uh, white cabbage is obviously chunked up small on the cut. So you're looking at about two minutes uh, flash cooked in this hot oil. Again, we are running about that 500 Fahrenheit. So this whole wok ordeal is going to take probably less than five or six minutes. You see that oil doing its thing and that keeps it uh you keep it spread on the wok you got even heat on the uh, wok on the uh, sides as well as the uh, bottom now what we're going to do here is we got some pre-made white rice this is like a sticky rice we'll get that in For even heating, just keep it kind of spread up, spread around the wok. Oh, man. Oh, we'll get our uh, roast pork in. Now, look, the only thing I may have done different here is I may have chunked up the uh, pork kind of like a... You know, kind of like a half a dice in size. It seems that's more popular. And the wife reminded me of that when we were in the house eating. But look, hey, either or, this dish is a winner and is definitely a must make. I'm gonna hit it with a little, uh, just a little bit of soy sauce. little of that uh, Hussein sauce and remember in cooking you can always add but you can never take out so don't over sauce if you're not sure a couple drops will do you because you can always add it later oh man that is money Alrighty guys, look, I'm gonna take this in live for a taste test as I plate this bad boy up. This is a fun cook. And this is something you definitely gotta try, especially if you like the uh, classic Chinese flavors. Look, 2021 is gonna bring some different types of cooks. We wanna broaden out, we wanna learn new things, but you're gonna wanna hit the subscribe button and ring that bell, come along as 2021 is gonna be huge for the channel. Oh, yeah. Let's take it in live. All right, man, that is it. 
Now, I'm not sure if you could see in my eyes, but reaching over that fire, you know, trying to scoop out the stuff, man, the smoke, it was just killer. But, you know, look, I think this went off without a hitch, man. A little concern with the eggs. You know, I had no way to control the temperature. I think she ran about 550 Fahrenheit in the wok, so I guess that was good enough because the eggs uh, definitely didn't burn. Everything, uh, you know, everything is nice and moist. I'm going to get a uh, quick taste test here. Of course, the uh, pork is nice and tender. I mean, you know, I'm going to get a, I want to try to get everything. I want to get a little, uh, little rice. Let's try the rice here on it. Cheers. Wow, man, it tastes just like a Chinese restaurant. Oh, man. You know, I came across, uh, you know, I came across this char siu. I've done them on the bone, and I uh, came across the roast pork. Came up on, uh, you know, on YouTube, and I started sleeping on it and developing a, uh, you know, developing a recipe that I could do on the uh, 1050 and finish it off in a white uh, wok type cook. Now, look, if you don't have a wok and an open fire, you could finish it off in the house in a saute pan, or you could just eat the uh, roast pork and, you know, hey, do your own thing, man. Come up with your own little twist. You know, that's the, uh, you know, that's what cooking's all about. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got a nice char piece. Mm. You know, look, this is money, man. This is, uh, you know, this is Chinese takeout in your backyard, you know, right to the core, man, right to the T. And, uh, you know, look, I haven't used the uh, 1050 probably in a couple weeks because it's got the uh, Pit Boss 1150. But I'll tell you, man, she just purred along, man. She did beautiful, man. Right at that 450, I bumped it up to 5, 550 towards the end to get that nice char and she followed right along. So high marks on the Masterbuilt 1050 again. High marks on this cook. I'm gonna stick a couple Masterbuilt cooks here. I'm gonna roll my Patreons here. I got a lot of new tiers in the Patreons. I got a lot of stuff coming up in 2021. We're gonna take this thing right to the top together and I'm really looking forward to it. The sun's going down. The kitchen table is ready and that's it for me so look have a, a great 2021 i'm going to try to get one more cook out but until next time i will see you soon oh man Ciao.